the new price for a top safety in NFL free agency is $14 million per year, courtesy of Tyron Matthew, Chiefs and Landon Collins, Redskins. Expect Boney up $16 million per year for a top pass rusher like Zadarius Smith, Packers, a top right tackle like Jawan James, Broncos, will cost $13 million per year. The free market exploded in the first 24 hours of the negotiating window, deals cannot officially be signed until 4 p.m. Wednesday, and the Giants have sat idle. They have not signed a new player or lost a player other than the expected departure of Collins. Why? Well, general manager Dave Gettleman's words at the NFL Combine should be playing on loop in your brain. Reaching for a player, drafting a player earlier than you need to, has the same effect as doing a bad deal when you sign a contract with anybody, whether he is on your team or an unrestricted free agent. Gettleman said, overpaying, you're mad. The ink on the contract isn't dry and you are ticked off. The Giants struck early last offseason, coming away with running back Jonathan Stewart two years, $6.9 million, outside linebacker Kareem Martin three years, $15 million, offensive guard Patrick Omame three years, $15 million, and left tackle Nate Solder four years, $62 million as their first four major additions. Omame and Stewart already are off the team as mega busts. Martin had a quiet first season, and Sater was the best left tackle the Giants have had since David Deal and Will Beatty during the last Super Bowl run but struggled to live up his contract. The Giants also signed cornerback Teddy Williams, left the team in training camp, and free safety Curtis Riley looked overmatched as first year starter within the first 36 hours. The Giants went all-in on free agents in 2016, made the playoffs once and have moved on from almost all of those additions while running up dead cap charges. So, the Giants have watched idly as Matthew, Smith, fellow Packers signee Preston Smith and other free agents they were linked to signed elsewhere. Even a relative bargain safety like Deshaun Gibson, who got three years and $22 million from the Texans, wasn't seriously in play. NFL trade rumors, Giants Odell Beckham has short list of new teams, who would be on it? Sleeper team to consider are teams willing to give up multiple NFL draft picks for New York Giants wide receiver Odell Beckham? Slow and steady wins the race. The Giants might be in the mix for the second tier of defensive targets, according to various reports, including lineman Marcus Golden and linebacker Dion Buchanan of the Cardinals and safety Andrew Senja of the Vikings. On the offensive side, former Vikings guard, tackle Mike Remmers has ties to Gettleman and coach Pat Shermer. The Giants have about $24.7 million in cap space, according to OverTheCap.com. Gettleman wants to save about $8 minus $10 million for the start of the season, which seems on the high end. One year ago, the Giants opened free agency with about $28 million in cap space and would have gone into the season with less than $1 million available until restructuring Janoris Jenkins' contract and trading Brett Jones. You don't want to do that because it's effectively kicking the can down the road, Gettleman said. Ryan Dunlevy may be reached at rdunlevy at neadvancemedia.com. Follow him on Twitter at rydunlevy. Find our Giants coverage on Facebook.